Hello everyone, welcome to Noir Feed, where we take a look into terrifying crimes, unexplained disappearances, and odd occurrences. Fair warning, most of these cases are disturbing, so to the faint of heart, beware. Now then, shall we? I wanted to talk about this specific case because I noticed there's not much information regarding this on YouTube when it comes to any English videos. So I was able to piece together a bit of a profile based off of news articles and general information that was available. And I do apologize ahead of time. I do not speak Portuguese and I know I am going to butcher some of these names, especially the cities. So with that in mind, let's get started. Diago Enrique Gomez de Roca was born February 4th, 1988 in Guanya, Brazil. Gomez de Roca lived in Goz, Guanya, Brazil from infancy until his arrest. At the time of his arrest, he was working as a security guard and was engaged at the time as well. Gomez de Roca started his rampage in 2011. He went on to kill at least 26 victims, 16 of whom were women and his youngest being a 14-year-old girl. When Gomez was arrested, however, he did confess to 39 victims in total, referring to them only by the number in which they were chronologically murdered. He stabbed prostitutes, shot homeless men, and choked gay victims as they had become his targets in the city of Gos. At first, Gomez de Roca would randomly choose his victims. However, it was established that he did develop a pattern, making himself a serial killer. When describing his desire to kill to the detectives, de Roca said, It was stronger than me. I couldn't explain. At some point, Gomez de Roca changed his MO and actually started to approach people on his motorcycle and then shooting them to death. He would approach his victims on his motorcycle, yell robbery, and then shoot his victims. Although he would shout robbery before opening fire from his bike, Gomez de Roca would never take any of his victims' possessions. Interestingly enough, he was also investigated for over 90 robberies of shops and pharmacies throughout Goes, although he never discharged his weapon during the robberies. For three years, Diego Enrique Gomez de Roca led a reign of terror on the city of Goes until he was pulled over in 2014. He was arrested due to a failed attack in which the victim survived and was able to give information to the police as well as the bartender who also saw the attack. His attack failed because his gun would not fire. When police investigated Gomez de Roca's grandmother's home, they found handcuffs, a couple knives, and a hammer. It was assumed that all of these weapons were used in his attacks on homeless people, the gay community, and innocent women. Gomez de Roca immediately confessed to his crimes when he told officers about them, he also explained that he killed to alleviate feelings of anxiety due to having been sexually abused at the age of 11 by a neighbor. He claims that this is when he began to feel murderous rage. When discussing his crimes, he would accurately describe the scenes as well as his emotions after the murders. He never described the faces of his victims, however, but he could describe the locations and violent acts in detail. His lawyer at first thought his confession was coerced by detectives. It wasn't until he spoke with his client that he realized that Gomez de Roca committed these crimes, as he went into rich detail about each killing. Police Chief Joao Gorski stated, I believe he is a serial killer. To start with, he killed at random, but towards the end, he established a pattern. Go State Governor Marconi Perillo added, I have received confirmation of an excellent piece of news. The identification, arrest, and remand in custody of a killer responsible for the deaths of women and street people in Goania, who 
even confess to his crime. I never doubted the investigation would lead to the solving of these crimes that affect the tranquility and integrity of the families in Goanya. I know this won't fill the hole left by the deaths of loved ones, but I'm sure it will serve as some comfort to their families and society. While in custody on one occasion, Gomez de Roca asked officers guarding him if it was okay to kill other inmates. He continued to explain that he still felt the urge to kill and wanted to know if he would face trial if he killed someone else in custody. Gomez de Roca is also on suicide watch as he attempted to slash his wrist with a broken light bulb from his cell. Regarding his suicide attempts, Chief Prado said, We are monitoring him constantly. He doesn't love himself, and he's already attempted suicide. He constantly asks for dental floss. When you ask him if it's so he can kill himself, he just laughs sarcastically. Tiago Enrique Gomez de Roca's conviction and confession has cemented him as one of the world's worst serial killers, as well as one of the most prolific in Brazilian history. All right, everybody, that will do it for this Noir feed. I appreciate you all being here. Please like and subscribe on your way out, and I will see you next time.